All right, guys, I just caught another little pickerel. This one's bigger than uh, the first one I caught. Nice little, probably 10 incher. Uh, maybe, maybe about, yeah, about 10 inches long, maybe. Pretty cool, love catching these fish. These are one of my favorite fish to catch. A lot of fun, whole lot of fun, I'll tell you guys what. Don't wanna get him in the eye there. Oh uh, yeah, I saw, I spooked this one. I saw it over there, there it is. Pretty dang cool. I'm gonna get a uh, picture real quick. We, uh, these fish have not been active for a while, and now this cold water's got them real, real active. There we go. There he is. Let's go down here. Let him go. There he goes. Little pickerel. A lot of fun, I'll tell you what, a lot of fun. Alright guys, after that pickerel, which is amazing, we put those pickerel in there probably good over a year ago. Back in 2015 we put those in there. Haven't caught one since and now I just finally caught one all of a sudden. I'm going to show you what I caught it on. Caught it on this little yum uh, warning shot. Show you the color. The color is bold bluegill. Alright, there you go. The color is bold bluegill. And I'm going to get back out there and see if I can catch some bass and some pickerel. That's my second fish of the day. I caught a bass earlier. I'm probably going to have to retie this drop shot. It got all tangled up with the fight from that fish. But that was that was crazy though. So I'll get back to you guys. I might even take the boat out. I don't know for sure. But I'll get back to you guys in a second. I've been catching a lot of the uh, bass and pickerel and stuff out of these reeds all over here. That seems to be where they're at. Alright guys, I got an update for you. So I just went out and did a little bit of fishing. Um, I didn't film at all, I just took the camera with me. And uh, I had another pickerel hooked up. It was um, This one was a lot bigger, maybe about half a pound. Um, and then I, I saw it eating the uh, little warning shot. And I set hook on it and, and uh, brought it up out of the water and it flopped around and uh, spit the hook. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take the boat out and I'm going to go get some jig heads and I'm going to try to uh, pitch a couple of those, the, the little yum warning shot on a jig head up in there in the, uh, into some reeds and see if I can catch a, uh, another pickerel, which is my goal for today. But I'm mostly going to be catching a bunch of bass and maybe, maybe fingers crossed I can get a pickerel again. Maybe a, a decent sized one this time. So I'm just gonna break the freezer real quick. We gotta keep all of our uh, stuff in the freezers or like in containers so they don't get um, they don't get torn up by mice. I'm in here, I'm in here stealing tackle out of my grandpa's bag. Cause I don't have any jig heads in mine. So I'm just gonna steal some of his. Which I know he's got plenty of. Let's see what we got in another box. Here we go. Here are some jig heads. I need one that is uh, heavy enough for me to throw in a bait caster. Because that's what I want to throw it on. Um, you know, maybe I'll we'll do something like this little one. This little underspin right here. That's pretty neat. Put a little, uh, that little yum warning shot in the back of it and see if I can catch one on it. I'm going to take. Uh, this little black one too, just in case that little underspin doesn't work. So I'll get back to you. First day out there, nice little doll. Oh, what do you got there, Grandpa? Yeah, I got an eight pointer. Pretty nice great, one. Great big one, big enough though. Oh yeah, nice one. Congratulations. 183. 183. Good, nice one.